Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris, and for today's recipe, we're gonna be making some agua chiles. Now, this is a recipe that I crave in summertime. I don't like making stuff hot, it's so good, picoso, and it hits the spot. Now, this recipe is my husband's recipe, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it for you guys because I know a lot of you guys really enjoy his recipe. And, well, the family members that have tried it. And, fun fact, our chiles originated in Sinaloa. So, shout out to everybody from Sinaloa. And, my dad is from Sinaloa. He's from Culiacán, Sinaloa. So, shout out to todos los tomateros. And, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, for this recipe, I have about two and a half pounds of shrimp. I still have to de them and clean them. But it's up to you if you want to buy them already cleaned. Then I have tres jalapeños, three jalapeños, and three cucumbers, tres pepinos. You're going to get one red onion, your salt, your pepper, and then this is optional. This is salsa magi. Your chile pepin. Take a picture of that. Your cilantro and your cilantro, you're only gonna need about three to four branches. You don't need a whole bunch. And then your limas. Now, let me tell you about this, okay? So you got your big one and the tiny ones. I highly, highly recommend that you get the tiny ones. That way you don't get that amargo taste that a lot of times the big ones have. So highly recommend these. If you can't find these, then go ahead and do it with these, but really recommend the small ones. And I got maybe about 40 of these. And then it's up to you what type of tostada or if you don't wanna eat it with tostada. I have calidad, but for me, los pericos is probably the best for me. Like, the taste is bomb. And if you're from Cali, you can find these at Vallarta. I went ahead and peeled my cucumber and I did cut the sides and I rubbed, well, let me show you. Went ahead and peeled them and you're gonna go ahead and cut them. And I just like to rub it, that way the cucumber doesn't come out sour so it doesn't come out amargo and I'm gonna do the same thing to this one and we're I'm not, probably only gonna use two and a half the other half we're gonna use for the chile then you're gonna go ahead and slice it open and you're gonna take out the seeds from the inside Now you're gonna go ahead and chop your cucumber. You can chop it however you like. I like to chop them like moons and very thin. Now we're gonna go ahead and slice our onion. You can get a medium sized onion. You're gonna slice them in half moons and you're gonna try to slice them as thin as possible. Los vas a cortar a media luna, pero los vas a tratar de cortar delgadas. So let me go ahead and show you. Now that we have it sliced, you're just gonna cut it in half to make it the half moon. See how, let me show you how thin they are. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I clean my shrimp. I'm just going to show a couple and then just get to it. So I peel off the skin, the shell. And then I just cut it. Can you guys see this? You're gonna pull this out. You see that? That's what you're gonna pull out. And it's up to you if you wanna clean the bottom part. Not everybody does that, I do. And I just, same thing. Just 
pull it right out. And that's what you're going to do to all of them. And then once we're done, we're going to rinse these and then just get right back to the recipe. All right, mi gente, I just finished cleaning them. They're estilando. And yes, I did rinse them already. I cleaned the bottom and the top. I'm not going to lie to you. This is probably what's going to take up most of your time is cleaning them. It probably took me like 30, 35 minutes because I'm there like, but I highly, highly, highly recommend that you buy them like this. Buy them fresh. Don't buy them already clean. It's totally a different flavor for me. I always buy them like that with the shell on. And remember, a lot of times when you buy them with already cleaned, they've been sitting there a couple of days. So you're not going to get it fresh. They're going to be kind of slimy. Don't do that. It's a big difference. So I recommend fresh, peel them yourself, clean them yourself. Yes, it does take longer, but the taste is so much better. And I just want to tell you guys, two of the places, no, three of the places that I bought in shrimp that I recommend is Seafood City, Sprouts, and Super King, if you're in Cali. So let me know places that you know of, comment down below. And these are pretty big, so you can either hacerlo como una mariposa de cortarlo más, like open it up more if you want it like that. Or si no, lo que voy a hacer yo, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them into three. That way everyone gets a piece on their tostada. So while I do that, then we're gonna go ahead and start making the salsa. So I have about 26 lines here that I have already cut in half. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze those into the blender. And then here I have the that bean that's gonna go in. We're only gonna put in about half the bag. And then of course your cilantro, but you're only gonna put, this is about two, three to four. Remember, you don't wanna add uh, too much cause it's gonna overpower it. And then we're gonna add uh, tres jalapeños and luego medio de pepino and then go ahead and throw that in and just start squeezing your lines into the blender all right guys i went ahead and i added my shrimp in here and i took out my pepino and onions because i want my shrimp to get the lemon and cook first so i am gonna add some pepper and this is all gonna be to your liking you guys already know But if you want to measure, try out one fourth. I would recommend one fourth of salt first. And then just like always, just take a little bit of the juice, try it and see. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the shrimp. And then you're also going to add some to your chili. I think that's good enough. The pepper I'm not going to add in there is going to be in here. And remember, I'm only going to add half. Now, if you want it spicier, I recommend you replacing the jalapeños. One jalapeño y dos serranos. Si lo quieres más picoso. If you want it more spicy, one jalapeño, two serranos. I like to enjoy my food. I want to eat it and not be like, oh, fuck, it's too hot for me to eat. I like to get that spiciness but still be able to keep eating it. Needs more salt for me. And I am gonna add more of the pepino. I'm just gonna pour it over. You're going to make sure everything is coated. And it doesn't have to cover it. As long as it's coated in there and you mix it up, you don't want it to have too much. Then it gets like super watery when you put in your tostada. No más para que se cocine. Now you're just going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. 
in the fridge. Then after those 15 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and add this in and let it sit in the fridge again another 15 minutes. So 30 minutes in total. All right guys, it's been about 15 minutes and you see how it's turning like orangey, it's not black anymore. That means it's cooking, so I'm just gonna give it a mix and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the onions and the cucumber. And again, I put like 26 lemons. Try 20 first because it's supposed to be a lot thicker. I just went a little overboard. But it's all right, still gonna taste good. And pour that in. Let's mix. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes, but I wanted to show you guys how I eat mine and uni mayonnaise. I know not everybody is used to that. Some people are like, oh, that's nasty, but you need to try it. Like, bomb. Le vas a echar mayonesa tu tostado. Trust me when I tell you this, like, it is so freaking good. Luego, I have to make a lot of stuff. And you don't have to put as much as me, like, I, I don't mind the mayo. But you really need to try it with mayo, like, I'm not kidding. It makes such a big difference. My mouth is already watering. Like, I'm like, I can't wait. Then, si le quieres echar aguacate, if you want to add avocado, I like to add avocado. Just put some slices on there. And this is optional. Okay? The mayo is optional, but I'm telling you, it makes such a big difference. Yo sé que mucha gente no está acostumbrada, pero la mayonesa sí le da un sabor bien, bien perrón. ¿Para qué te digo? Y luego, this is up to you. I'll eat it just like this, pero ahí tú si le quieres echar más valentina, o oh, a mi esposo le gusta el del chile habanero, el verde. Es lo que le, le gusta echarle. Now, for your salsa magi. Just put like one or two drops. You can add it to your pot. I would only add like maybe four drops. But not everybody is gonna be excited about it. My husband likes to add it to his plate. So I just add a couple of drops. There you go. Let's try it. Yes, it has mayonnaise. No. It is so good. And I was planning to have a little beer with it. Look, my husband getting here. Me trajiste chela? Is that for me? Let's do it. I forgot to get beer. It is so good, so good. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have it with my beer. I bought this. It's a marido la chela. It came out so good. Y si no eres cochinero es porque no lo hiciste bien. Mm. Mm. I love it. It's so good. I swear I can eat this. I can eat this every day. I'm being messy, but I don't care. I'm gonna open one up. 
Oh my god. I love this. I love seafood. Thank you guys for watching. If you make this, tag me. Follow me on my on Instagram. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Oh my god, you have to try this. It's so good. Thanks for watching.